Hey there, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial from tutcast.com. Let's say you're finally starting to regret that ugly tattoo that you got in high school, and in order to get accepted into a modeling program, you have to remove your tattoo from all your photos. Now, fortunately, it's pretty simple. There are a few methods to do so, but I'm going to show you a method that's pretty simple and pretty effective. We need to start by making our selection. Now there are many methods in Photoshop of making a selection, but because this tattoo goes right down to this big curve down here, we want a nice curvy selection and a fairly accurate selection. So we're going to be using the pen tool to make our selection. We're going to grab our pen tool right over here, and at the top we're going to make sure the second button is punched in, which is our paths button. And we're going to begin our selection. I'm going to start my selection right around this area here, and I'm going to click once to make my first point, and I'm going to click in this area here to make my second point, and drag my mouse to make a nice curvy path. I'm then going to click my mouse right around this area here, drag my mouse one more time, and let go around there. So we have a nice curvy path right in this area, and we've pretty much cleared our curvy border. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to simply make a selection around by clicking, around the tattoo just like this. Try to get somewhat close to the tattoo, but you don't have to get too accurate. Right around there, and follow this area closely, and finish up our selection by clicking like that. So you should see your path completed, and it's ready to go. We need to turn this into a selection. We're going to right click on our path, and then click on Make Selection. And here's our Make Selection dialog box. And we need to make sure to feather our selection. This just ensures that any edits we do inside the selection, it won't turn out with very sharp edges. I'm going to set a feather radius of around, let's say, 8 pixels. Depending on the size of your image, you may have to play around with it. You may have to undo and change it. But I'm going to set it to 8, and I'm going to turn on anti alias and I'm going to click on OK. And here is our selection. You can tell by the little marching ants as my old teacher used to call them. And we're going to grab our clone stamp tool. Now a lot of you are probably asking me why aren't I using the patch tool? It's a lot easier. Well I found with the patch tool when we're dealing with something around a border, as you can see here we have our selection, then we have a very sharp difference in color right below. This is what will happen with the patch tool. We're going to drag it up and we're going to let go and that's our result. As you can tell, it's sampled a lot of what's below our selection and applied it inside our selection. So we definitely don't want to use this method. We're going to be using the clone stamp, which is right over here. There's our clone stamp right there. At the top, we're going to choose a nice big brush. I'm going to choose somewhere around 200 looks pretty good. And I'm going to keep all these settings the same. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to hover our mouse over top of our selection, somewhere right around here, and hold down Alt if you're on a PC, Option if you're on a Mac, and click your mouse to sample that area. Then we're going to move our mouse right below, try to keep in the same straight line as possible, and then very simply, brush. And you'll notice it's sampling right above our selection and applying it inside our selection. So we're going to continue around here, just like this. And you may have to let go and hover once again and click, and then apply down below here. And then once you're complete, we're going to go to Select, Deselect, or use the shortcut key. And here is our final result. You may have to fine tune it in the area down here. And maybe if you didn't have a very large feather radius, you may have to adjust some of the sharp edges that it may have made from the selection. But it looks pretty good. Let's zoom out. And here's our final result. Like I mentioned, you may have to zoom back in and fix some areas that didn't work out that great, like this area here. Let me very quickly decrease, increase the hardness and get rid of this just like this. Fix it up just a little bit. But for the most part, our final result looks pretty nice, pretty realistic. So try it out yourself, find some photos of tattoos online or take pictures of your own tattoos and get rid of them using the clone stamp tool. If you want, try out the other healing tools like the healing brush tool and the patch tool. It's completely up to you. There are many methods to do this. And until next time, this is Howard from Tutcast.com. Take care.